All right, today we're talking about TEKS 5.3D, represent multiplication of decimals. The key word here is represent, meaning you have to find the picture that represents the product for this multiplication problem. My first step is to represent my three tenths. Well, that also equals three rods. So I'm gonna represent three rods here. There's one rod or one tenth. Two rods or two tenths. Now this is my three rods or three tenths. I represented it using three rods vertically. Okay. Now I'm going to represent my seven tenths, but this time I'm going to represent that horizontally. That means I'm going to go this way. And instead of doing dots, I'm going to do X's. You also, if you have a pencil, you could shade it in. If you have two different colors, you can color them in as well. But I just want to do X's to show the differences between the two different shadings. So far I have tenths, twenty, thirty, one tenth, two, three, four. I must keep going. Five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. All right, you notice I went all the way across. All right, so now my answer is where the two sections intersect or overlap. So where do I see where I both have a dots and X's in the same boxes? This section right here. This section right here has both circles and X's or dots and X's. This is where it intersects or overlaps. This is where I find my answer. So now I'm going to count. These are units. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This is 21 hundredths. So let's write our final answer. 0 and 3 tenths times 0 and 7 tenths equals 0 and 21 hundredths. How did I get 21 hundredths? I counted 21 units. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This is my answer. Let's try the same thing for number 2. 5 tenths times 4 tenths. What do I do first? Exactly. I'm going to represent my 5 tenths vertically. I'm going to use circles or dots. One tenth. Two tenths. Three tenths, four tenths, and my five tenths. Okay, once again, you could color them in darker, you could shade them with a pencil. Now I'm going to represent my four tenths horizontally. Correct. I'm going to do X's. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths. Where is my answer? Where's my product? 
Exactly, where the two colors or the two symbols intersect. They intersect or cross right here. Okay, now let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that's 20 hundredths. So my final answer is 0 and 5 tenths times 0 and 4 tenths equals 0 and 20 hundredths. You also could write 0 and 2 tenths. All right.